it's summer, you're looking for a nice new little lightweight axe. You really fancy one of these because all the big boys are using them, but you can't afford one. Is the Cold Steel Trailhawk an option? Stay tuned. <laughs> Good morning campers and welcome back to the woods. Now as you can see from the thumbnail, today's video is mainly about putting two axes, two small axes, up against each other. Transforth Outdoor Axe and the Cold Steel Trailhawk. And I will get back to these after I've lit the fire. As it's summer and it's definitely warmed up here in sunny Wales, I thought I'd change my jacket. So I put my Helicontext Pilgrim smock away and I checked the pockets first to see what was in it and I found something. I found some honeysuckle back and I found a King Alfred's cake fungus. I'm pretty sure I gathered these when Russ and I went camping oof, about two months ago because there's quite a bit of honeysuckle in that area and I'm pretty sure I gathered them then. What I'm going to do, I'm going to light the fire using this and this. Seeing as it's a sunny day, although it is a bit early in the morning, I thought I'd grab this fire lighting kit and my magnifying glass. Now, if I don't get enough hot sun to light the cake with the magnifying glass, I'll probably switch to a striker light set. But hopefully it'll be okay. Uh, last week's fire, well the remnants of it, are still on the fire pit. Now we had quite a bit of rain this week, but we have had two dry days. So I'm not going to build a base. I'm going to just do it on top of that and there's the last chunk from the star fire which I've been using for must be almost two months now and I want to burn that off and I'll be starting a new star fire I find a star fire is excellent in the summer you just need a little bit of smoke keep the bugs away and keep your pot on the boil Gathered some nice dry twigs for the, for the process. Here's the honeysuckle back, which is nice and dry because it has been sitting in my jacket pocket for quite some time. I don't think I'll bother teasing it, since it's only a small bundle, but it, it'll be fine. What I'm going to do, get a coal going in there, and then I'll probably snap it in half, because I do find when I'm using these, the more surface area you've got glowing, the better. You won't get any glowing on the shell, so in half or in three, whichever way it cracks.
that was nice and easy. And I'm going to blow on this for a bit now, get the coal glowing. There we go, job done. That was nice and easy. Back took a little bit longer than I expected to go up, but apart from that, got a nice little fire going. Fire's looking after itself cup of tea has been drunk. All is well with the world. And before I get going, I just want to talk about both of these for five minutes. Well, maybe less. We'll see. I've done a review on this and I put it head to head with the wildlife hatchet. And personally, I thought the wildlife hatchet came out better. But it's a good little axe. This one I've had for years. And I've actually modified it because I've cut that much off the handle. I really didn't see the need for this to have such a long handle. Maybe if you want to throw it about, perhaps that helps. The extra length does help with chopping, but this isn't really a chopper. And I've done something else to it. And personally, I think if you get one of these, you need to do this. You need to modify the head. When these come, they're out there. And they're absolutely terrible. So I ground it down to a more usable edge and put a convex grind on it. I whip the handle with some sisal cord, give it a bit more grip, and make a sheath for it. As I said, I've had this years, at least 10 years, and it's seen a bit of action. Not a stupid amount of action because I prefer a heavier axe than a tomahawk, but it has its place. Neither of these axes are particularly good at chopping. The Gransforth is good for splitting. Personally, I think it relies on a batten to knock it through the wood because it is so light. I'm not a massive fan of round handles either. Now this one is slightly oval. I will get a better grip with this one than the Gransford. They're not meant for heavy chopping. They're not meant for heavy splitting. As far as I'm concerned, it's a summer axe. Both of them. First test I'm going to do is going to be a chopping test. I've got a log resting on the sawhorse. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do 10 chops with each. 
and see which one's best. Now last week my buddy Wade in uh, Canada did a video where he put the Grants forth against a large knife and I watched it and I thought to myself I'd rather the large knife personally and I was reading through the comments and most people were axe friendly but that big knife chopped so much better it was blatantly obvious the axe was bouncing off the log it's a nice little splitter but it's no chopper this on the other hand has got a bit more weight to it but it has got that small head that's enough rabbiting on do a bit of chopping Well, 10 wax didn't do a hell of a lot. Obviously, I didn't hit it really hard because it's on the sawhorse. Different kettle of fish. You know, if you've got a downed tree and you want to cut the end up, it's a lot more stable. But I didn't get a lot done with 10. I think I should have done about 20. But I do think the Grants thought it did a better job. Transport, cold steel. Now I did hit a knot which I didn't see here, which will impede it a bit. So I think I'll give it a turn over and try it the other side. Pretty much neck and neck, but I think the Gransworth was better, and that shocked me because I didn't think it would be. <clears throat> I'm gonna go through this now because I want to split it down.
both worked well. I think the Gransforth is a bit better for splitting because of the wedge head. But cold steel bites in really well. So it's actually easier to get that split going because it's sharper. Six or one half a dozen the other really. Um, let's try something a bit bigger. Got this out the wood pile. Now I'll be honest with you, I don't think the cold steel is going through this. Plenty of knots in here as well. Let's try the grand spot. That's our cut, I'll turn it that way. Well, pretty obvious which is the best splitter. The cold steel just didn't want to know. The Grand Sforth, as long as it had a button, fine. Well, as far as I'm concerned, there's a definite winner for the split in, and that's the Grand Sforth, 100%. All this wood preparation is thirsty work, so I thought I'd better put the kettle on again. Now the heavy work's over with, I'm going to do a little bit of crafting. Uh, what I think I'll do, saw this chunk off, I'm going to make a spatula with both axes. I'm not going to go into massive details, carving a spoon and things or at least roughing a blank out. I'm just gonna make a spatula.
one down. Yes, it's basic, but it'll do the job. And that was easy, real easy. Grants Foss. Not much in that really. The only thing I did find with this, because it's so slim up here, I did get a bit more fatigue in the hand, and that was only a couple of minutes, than the trail hawk. But you've got to bear in mind, I wouldn't be able to do that as well with the original grind on the trail hawk, because it's out here somewhere, like I said earlier, and it's just crap for crafting. Whereas this is perfect out of the box. That one's a bit better than that one, but that's probably a lot to do with the split that came out. You know, you've got to work with what you've got. Yes. Well, the next test, making some shavings for fire lighting. Well, neither of them are great for making shavings, unfortunately. But that's why we carry these. <laughs> Simple. Well, with the axe in the log method, it's not brilliant, but it is quite a short stick. I think the Grandsforth definitely wins. 
I may even be able to light that with a ferro rod. Time for my opinion. This may be a bit long winded. Noise. This works well. For the money, it's a crack and it lacks. But 100% you need to regrind that. If you're thinking of getting one of these and using it straight out of the box and doing any crafting with it, forget it because that original grind is terrible. You don't have to cut a couple of inches off it, but I thought it best. Definitely works better for me. Cut down a bit. This out of the box works well, but it's a lot of money. Personally, I think it needs to be a bit longer. And the handle is very slim. That's the only downfall I find with this doesn't bite that well but if you're looking for something to split with that's small this is great if you're on a budget the Trailhawk is just fantastic this is a lot of money I think if you're in the environment where you're going to do a lot of splitting pine spruce coniferous wood you can't fault this especially if you make a button or mallet whatever this works fantastically well if you're looking for something to cut a bit of green wood you know if you like to make bender shelters and cutting green wood this bounces off I've used it plenty of times I know for green wood this is not the right thing but I know Lars Falk designed it and he's in Sweden with a lot of pine and spruce So, in conclusion, that is well worth the money, but it needs modify in the head. That works great out of the box, but I do think it needs a longer, slightly thicker handle. I wouldn't hesitate buying another one, and this is the second one I've had, because I got rid of the first one because I preferred the wildlife hatchet. But I had the opportunity to buy another one, so I did. That I've had for many years. The end of the day I'd prefer the wildlife hatchet to both of them I think it's cheaper than that it's more expensive than that it's better for crafting doesn't quite split as well as this but for crafting if you're going to make shavings and things you know if you're going to rely on your axe more than a knife the wildlife gets it for me every time well, thank you very much for watching I hope you found this informative Please give me a thumbs up, greatly appreciate it. Until the next time, goodbye. And I've got a log on. I've got a log on. No, I haven't got a log on. <laughs> oh, God. Do a bit of action. Not do a bit of action, let's. Oh, fucking hell. I've smoked out and the bloody shooting.